In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to create a cut list or material list inside SketchUp. So the first thing you're going to do is use extensions up here. You're going to need the pro version to do this. Uh, the free version doesn't allow these extensions. Um, if you have the free version, I would suggest you still watch this because this may be the reason that you want to get the pro version. So if you go up here to extensions and go to extension warehouse, this is where you'll find plugins and extensions for SketchUp. We're going to look for open cut list. Now, open cut list is a free plugin. You don't have to pay anything. And what it does is just with one click, it allows you to create a parts list and uh, a cut list with everything that you used in your project. Now it uses components. So everything must be a component, um, but it's super simple to use. And all you have to do is go down here to install and it will be installed in your SketchUp Pro. And so all you have to do to use it is go up here to extensions and you'll find it right here, open cut list. And you can click on any one of these and it will bring it up. But if you just go to generate parts list, just one click, um, there it is. We've got all of our materials. Our ridge board here is 12 feet long by seven and a quarter by one and a half, which means that's a 12 foot long two by eight. Our end joists here, we have two of them at 12 feet by five and a half by one and a half. So that means they are 12 foot long two by sixes and the list goes on. So these names here are the names of the components. So this list doesn't know uh, this is a ridge board. I named it ridge board when I made it a component. Now, the way this works is it separates everything into colors. And so uh, notice we've got the lighter color here for our framing lumber. We've got the darker color here for our plywood, and we've got a third color for our skids down here. And so um, when we open up our list, notice it is um, these three colors, and these are the names of the colors inside SketchUp, but you can change them. So see this says Formica Laminate Light, that is that lighter color. So I can change the name right here, and I'll call it Framing Lumber. Click Apply, and now, We've got framing lumber and these other two names, which we can change as well. So if I went here, change this to plywood, and then change the last one to pressure treated, which is those skids. Now we have an accurate cut list. We've got a list that says framing lumber with all of our framing lumber, quantity, length, width, and thickness. We've got our plywood. So it shows here we've got three four by eight sheets of three quarter inch plywood and then pressure treated down here are four by six skids. Uh, shows here they are 12 feet long, five and a half inches by three and a half, so that's a four by six. And yeah, that is um, how you create a cut list and parts list inside SketchUp. This is the easiest, fastest way, and it's extremely accurate and extremely easy to use. So uh, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.